we are back at it again. So yesterday, I don't know what time you'll be seeing this video, but for me it was yesterday I recorded the last video. And you guys seem to really like it. I appreciate the support. And we made some good progress here. Let's just give me, if you didn't see the last video, first of all, I want you to go watch that right now and then come back to this one. But if you don't want to do that, I'll just give you a quick rundown here. So Minnesota. Minnesota beat a couple of teams up in, uh, I guess, Wisconsin and a little bit of Michigan. And then Dartmouth expanding in the New England states. Charlotte taking over North Carolina. Florida in control of Florida right now. And then um, a March Madness team, Texas A&M Corpus Christi, doing very well. But then one of the biggest shockers, New Mexico State, they took over most of Alaska. And then also up here, you can see they took over a lot of Washington as well. Sorry, I'll push this down a little bit. Um, then looking around here, Grand Canyon got some space. Air Force expanded a little bit. Alabama got a couple of wins. Georgia got a win. Coastal Carolina won. Yeah, that's it. Colgate won. So yeah, Illinois also won over there. They're taking over their state. But that's all I've got to say, really. Um, and today, I hope we get another good episode, get some upsets. Just hopefully it's a good round overall. So here we are, on the wheel. Thanks for the support on the past episode. I really appreciate it. And on the wheel, we get Farley Dickinson as our first team play. And here's our arrow. Which, which direction will they be attacking in? We're going straight south, okay? So, FDU doesn't have very much space, but they do have this little spot here, and they will be attacking straight north, as I said, so they will be attacking Army. So, we slowly scroll down here, and it looks like Fairleigh Dickinson's gonna take care of them pretty handily. I mean, we don't know what really happened, but Army was favored by two and a half points. I don't know how I feel about that. Fairleigh Dickinson beat a one seed this year in March Madness, so... I don't know how I feel about Army being favored, but anyways, Fairleigh Dickinson won. And there you go, Fairleigh Dickinson takes over that whole area, Iona, and um, NGIT, you better watch out, they're coming for you. There you go, back to the wheel we go. Ooh. It's been really good so far, I've liked some of the upsets, got some upsets, but oh, Colgate's playing now. They already played this tournament, and they won, took over quite a bit of territory, but now they can expand again. And where will they be attacking? They will be attacking west, so straight west, maybe a little south, we'll keep that in mind. So I had it taken some serious consideration here, very close to Cornell, but it does hit Syracuse, I believe. So they will be playing Syracuse. So now we... Slowly scroll down and we'll see how this is. There's the play by play. I can probably get rid of that. Colgate pulls off the upset. Actually, not an upset, but last year this would have been an upset, I will say. So Colgate pulls it off. I'll get rid of show by play, but big upset. So, would you look at that? Colgate taking over New York. And if they play Dartmouth, it would be the battle for the ages. Back to the wheel. We're spinning again. See who it's gonna be. And it looks like it is going to be Arizona State. Okay, I like this. And to the arrow, they are going to be playing. I'm gonna go straight east. And they will have to play Arizona. This is gonna be very difficult for them. Okay, and here we go. Going down, and Arizona State does win it, but not by a crazy amount. So, yeah, they had a, Arizona State, Arizona had a 68% chance to win, and they do. And there you go, Arizona taking over their state. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot so I can keep making these videos. So, we're spinning again, and uh, yeah, be sure to drop your team in the comments who you're rooting for, your team that you root for in real life, root for them here. Unless they've already been eliminated, but pretty much only small schools have been eliminated so far, so that probably won't be happening. But we do have Florida, who will be playing. Where will they be playing at? They will be going a little southeast, and that will be pointing at UCF. So that's who they will be playing. This could be a very good game, but let's see. 
Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Florida was favored and they lost by 20. Holy cow, this is shocking. And we have a new boss in Florida. It is UCF. So Florida is off the map and we spin again. Man, I can't believe UCF is in charge of Florida, knocking out knocking out Florida, and now they're the new dark horse, and we do have Longwood playing. Very interesting. Now we spin the air to see which direction they will be attacking, and they will be going straight south. And with that, Longwood will be playing the HBCU North Carolina Central, the Celebration Bowl champions, actually, in football. And we slowly scroll down here. Um, I don't even know who the underdog is in this one, because I've never seen either of these teams play before. And, oh! It appears that Longwood was, and they lost by a decent mark. So would you look at NC Central taking over Virginia, expanding from North Carolina. Hasn't done any work in North Carolina so far, but taking over a part of Virginia. Very interesting. I like it. This wheel is slowly getting less names on it, but there are still over 200. So this is going to be a long series. I told you that at the beginning. I hope you're ready for a good 12 to 15 parts because it's going to be long. It's going to be Iona playing next. The, ooh, they could play um, Colgate, I believe. Which direction will they be attacking in? It's going to be a little northwest. Okay. I said Colgate. I'm pretty sure I meant to say Fairleigh Dickinson. And that's who they will be playing. They will be playing Fairleigh. And in what I think could be a very close game... Oh, never mind. Holy cow, who is Iona, and how are they so good? Fairlight against it's never won. My goodness, they won by 29. And Iona taken over, took over most of New Jersey now, and going into New York. I like it, I like it. So we spin the wheel again. I'm gonna keep it moving. Who is it gonna be? It is going to be... Oh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. They played yesterday and they won. Took over the whole bottom of Texas. Who will they play next? Let's see. And spinning the arrow now. We're going to go um, a little west. Yeah, just west pretty much. And that will be UTSA. This could be a good game. Okay, guys. This game was incredible. Double overtime. But the Islanders do pull it off by three points. Incredible. Very, very close. I'm loving it. Look at Texas A&M Corvus Christi now. The entire bottom of Texas. And um, do they have the majority of Texas? Actually, no. I think Texas A&M still does. But they're getting there one game at a time. And I love that team. And with that, Utsa is off of the wheel and we spin again let's see marshall will be playing okay okay i like marshall and they will be attacking attacking um southeast okay and it appears that they will be playing rider okay all right let's scroll down and see Ooh, Marshall. Marshall is going to win it by a little bit. They were favored. Look, the average score is 74 to 68, and that is exactly what we got. And Marshall takes their territory. Ohio, Virginia Tech, and Moorhead State are now surrounding them. I'm going to go take a lunch break. I'll be back. I'm back. I got some food. So um, I'm going to spin this wheel again, see who we get this time. And it is going to be... Air Force. Okay, they already played, trying to expand their territory more, but they could lose it all. It all just depends on who they're going to play, and that is going to be, it's going to be north, so we'll see who that is. Straight north from Air Force, you would hit Wyoming, so that's who they're going to play. Looking down here, Air Force, Wyoming, and it's going to be Wyoming winning by 10. Very even game. Wyoming was favored by 0.2 points. But, um, they actually won by 10. So that's a little strange, but we'll see. 
So Wyoming had so much land now that I literally had to add them a second logo so you knew whose land that was. But there you go, Wyoming. And do they have the most land on the map now? I think they do. It's pretty close with a couple of teams, but it looks like they do. So Wyoming is now the team to beat. And depending on who this team is, maybe they could beat them. Well, let's see. It is going to be... Iona. So, oh, man. Iona. How many times have they had to play? This might be their third time already. This is insane. Let's spin this arrow. See who they get to play. They already beat Fairleigh Dickinson today. And they're going to go a little... Um, they'll be Southwest. And it appears they will be playing Stony Brook. Okay. All right. See, now, I think Iona's going to win. I think Iona maybe... One of, I think they can make it to like the final 30 teams or so because they average 81 points a game. That's insane. Go down here, finally. Or, yeah, this is what Iona does. Oh my goodness, 76 points. Iona is insane, bro. 76 to 53. They won by 23. They may be my favorite to win it all. Okay, maybe I'm a little over exaggerating with that, but I seriously, seriously think they're a contender. And after some very precise changing the color of Long Island, Iona is expanding and has the entirety of New York City and Long Island, so they're moving up in the ranks. I want to see what Iona does against, like, a real school. Like, say they play Houston or something. That would be cool to watch. But anyways, it is going to be Tennessee. Okay, okay. A great school here. We'll see who they will be playing. So we spin this arrow gonna go um south west okay and unfortunately for chattanooga they will have to play tennessee but look at tennessee's area if they if they played any of the teams around them they would win every time i mean maybe appalachian state could put up a fight but it's just they're just on a different level okay let's see i'm expecting this to be a blow up maybe they win by 20 or 25 oh my gosh okay they only won by five I mean, they won nonetheless, and Tennessee taking over some area, but I still believe Appalachian State has more land than them. Back to the wheel we go, and we've seen some big upsets today, but not too many. Most of the time, the team that's favored wins, but that isn't always the case, and FAU, very big underdog in my opinion, is going up next. And they will be attacking towards... We're going to go north, maybe a little bit to the west. And if this was straight up north, they would play UCF. But as I said, it's a little bit to the west. So they're taking on FGCU. Good for them. Because I don't know if they can beat UCF, but I know they can definitely beat FGCU. So they got lucky. So Florida Gulf Coast and Florida Atlantic. Yeah. Oh, okay. So FGCU, they put up a good fight. They scored a lot more than they normally do. They averaged 68 and they got 77. But so did Florida Atlantic. So if Florida Atlantic got what they usually do, they would have lost. But since they went a little above that, very high scoring game. And yeah, so it's going to be Florida Atlantic moving on. FAU has the majority of kind of central Florida, maybe a south central Florida. They have all of that. Now they hopefully, I think they're hoping they play against. FIU so they can take over the rest and control Southern Florida. So we're spinning again and it's going to be Ooh, University of California San Bernardino. It is time to spin our arrow to see where they will be attacking and it's going to be north. A little bit to the east, we'll keep that in mind. Okay, so if it was uh, actually, I don't know. Is it possible for them to play UC Davis? I think it is right there, but they will be playing Cal Poly today. So let's see what happens. So I did say it was um, San Bernardino. It's actually Santa Barbara. Santa Bar Barbara. There's so many California schools. So hard to keep them straight. But we scroll down and they absolutely detonate Cal Poly and they win by 31. Holy cow. And UCSB expands their very small starting point 
and but they do get all this land here and they're going up the coast of california so we spin again how long has this video been it's been probably about 15 minutes so i'll make it a little bit longer maybe about five more minutes stay with me for a little bit longer and we're gonna have texas southern plain they will be attacking towards then we go in straight east and they're almost completely surrounded by the two big Texas schools, A&M and Texas, who haven't been doing too well in this in this series, actually. But they will have to play Texas since they are straight east of them. And now we scroll down to see who won. Texas wins in incredible fashion. They won by, uh, what is that, 23 points. Crazy. I honestly feel bad for Texas Southern. They really had no chance, just where they started out with Texas A&M and Texas around them. If they played either of those teams, they would have got squashed. So it's not really fair to them, but you know, but it is what it is. And for now, they will. Yeah, so moving on, we are back to the wheel, seeing who they will play. Who, well, whoever will be playing. It's going to be Dayton. Okay, okay, okay. Dayton. They will be attacking go south. I want to say they get um, northern Kentucky, but they do hit Indiana, unfortunately, so they will have to play them. So, scrolling down, Dayton trying to pull off the upset, but they can. They lose by 14. Now, if you look at this, there was 26 simulations. Dayton actually won 10, and Indiana only won 16. So Dayton did have a really good shot in that, actually. Dayton's small slab of land is now off the map. And with a Daytonless wheel here, we go and see who we play next. Vanderbilt. Okay, I love Vandy. And who will Vandy be playing? Very good question. It's going to be Northwest, so we'll see who that is. So Vanderbilt already did win a game. And... They will be playing Murray State next. And let's see how it went. Oh, Vanderbilt is on fire. They destroyed them. And they're averaging 81 points. And they got 82. And Vanderbilt expands. And they are literally taking over the entire country. They're doing it very slowly. But they're averaging 82 points a game. And... They could be a very big underdog, and they might make up for what happens in football. Resuming with the wheel here, we'll get like, let's do three or four more teams eliminated, and then we'll call it a day, and I'll be back maybe tomorrow, maybe I'll wait a little bit, maybe two days, maybe three days, you never know, life gets in the way sometimes, but we got Kent State, and Kent State will be attacking towards South and a little bit wet. So Kent State has one of the smallest areas on the entire map, which can be a good thing because it doesn't put you at much risk of a target. But they will play Akron a big chance to take over a lot of land, and they can get like a third of Ohio with it. Resuming here. Slowly scrolling down. Come on, Kent State. Oh, man, that's brutal. So the average score... In 69 to 70, Kent State wins. But somehow, Akron won by 15. That, that's shocking. I don't know why that happened. But simulation doesn't lie. And Kent State will unfortunately be have to be off the map. So Akron gets literally two counties. No big deal. But they'll take whatever land they can get. I'm going to make this my final team getting eliminated today. We'll see who it's going to be. Memphis. Okay, I like this. And where will they be attacking? Gonna be going east. And we've got a banger to end it with. Memphis going to Vanderbilt. Holy cow, this could be good. Okay, so everything on the line and Vanderbilt. Absolutely. That that's shocking. Cause this is by 2023. 2023 teams. Memphis. Yeah, Memphis made it to the round of 64 as like a five. No, they 
An eight seed, actually. They came in as an eight seed. Vanderbilt didn't even make it. So this is a little shocking. They beat them by 16. But I'm not arguing. I love Vanderbilt, and they're moving on and taking over a little bit more land. And Vanderbilt expands even more. And this is the map after episode two. Can't believe we're already two episodes in. And yeah, you can see some major changes. Best team today is going to have to be Vanderbilt. They played remarkable in every game they played, and they had to play a lot. Big shout outs to UCF and FAU as well, and Texas A&M Corpus Christi staying alive. If you're a fan of any of these teams, be sure to drop them in the comments, show your support, and see how far they can make it. But that's it for me. Like, subscribe, comment. I love hearing feedback in the comments. It's awesome. And yeah, that's it for me. See you guys in the next one. Peace.